Welcome to Gender Talks, Usapang Gender, Episode 9 na po tayo. My name is Betsy Enriquez. I teach at the College of Mass Communication. I teach about uh, media and gender, sexuality, and the various courses that deal with gender issues. Ako si Roland Tolentino. Nagtuturo ng gender and sexuality sa mga kurso sa UP Film Institute at UP College of Mass Communication. I'm Natsi Africa Verseles. I'm the director of the UP Center for Women's and Gender Studies. I'm also a member of the faculty of the Department of Women and Development Studies. I teach history and perspectives of women, gender, and development, and also feminist research. I am uh, Professor Caroline Sobrichea of the UP Asian Center and the uh, UP Open University. I teach uh, several gender courses related to ASEAN studies, Philippine studies, and uh, social work. In November of last year, an anonymous Twitter account, which was a private chat among members of a batch of a well-known fraternity in UP, was leaked to the public by an unidentified person. It has subsequently been taken down, but not until screenshots have been made and shared by several on the internet. The chat consisted of thousands of messages offensive to women and the LGBTQ+, to certain races and ethnicities, and to the poor and other marginalized people. Some messages could be interpreted as inciting to rape, violence, and even murder. Ito po ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, yung tinatawag na Lonsi Leaks. No? So ang unang tanong ko siguro sa aking mga kasama dito sa panel ay, did we all catch a few at least of the screenshots of the so-called Lonsi Leaks and how did we react to it? Nahin natin si Nancy. I did, but I'm quite active on social media, but even before catching it on social media, it was sent to me in the form of private messages. Okay. The screenshots were sent to me. I was, uh -huh. I was sh really shocked. Okay. I could not believe that there were students of UP who would be talking like that even in private conversation. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. It, it was an outrage. I could not imagine that we are harboring yeah. students like that uh -huh, within uh -huh. our university. Uh -oh. Senyo Carol, napag-usapan ba to? Oo, na, ang nakita ko, I saw the, the news on social media and then it was discussed in some of the meetings when mm -hmm. we were in UP mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of discussion about it. And of course, disappointment, especially among the faculty members. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yes. Uh -oh. Sa atin sa MASCOM, Roland, ano naging general reaction? Ako ay nakita ko siya at uh, uh, binasa ko. Pero hindi ko talaga matapos dahil parang bumabaligtad yung chan ko na oh, oh. may ganito tayo mga studyante o naging studyante na, uh, na misogynist ang mga statements, uh, pro-martial law, anti-lumad, oh, anti-poor, oh, oh. anti-Muslim uh, anti, uh, na klase. Uh, kaya uh, parang na, nag, nagkaroon ako ng split second na uh, pagtataya kung Tama ba itong ginagawa natin sa UP? Yeah, Tama ba nagkulang ba tayo uh -oh. ng uh, paggawa dito at pagtaya sa mga sudyante? O sadya bang napakalakas ng um, macho culture ng mga fraternities at ng patriarchal system natin na hindi talaga makonvert o hindi matransform ang mga kaisipan na uh, baligtad at mapanupil sa, sa ating mga hanay ng mga naging sudyante? Mm -hmm. Yes, Kasi, perf in, kasi nga, kagaya ni Roland, ang hirap-hirap niyang basahin. Oo, oh, 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 oh. ko, performance lang ba to? No. Pampalubag-loob ko yun eh. <laughs> Tanag, oh, yung oh, mga, mga lalaki, oh, siguro oh, mga batang lalaki, pag private conversation, maaangas yan. So, inisip oh, ko, baka naman, they're just acting it out. Hindi naman talaga yun ang paniniwala nila. Oh, oh. Pero there's no way of knowing. Pero yes. I'm mm. hoping na may ganong oh, elemento, na hindi talaga oh, nila nararamdaman yung mga... Pinag sasabi nila dong napaka outrageous. Ako ang naging, naging naging personal reaction ko ay nanlumo ako mm -hmm. kasi nag, nung last semester nagtuturo ako ng media and soji no. Ang ang yabang ko sa klase, mm -hmm. sabi ko, UP is the safest oh, no. place yeah, in the always, entire country we all, no. We say For that. all yes. genders, yes. di ba? Yes. So nung yeah. so nung lumabas itong itong uh, uh, issue na to, <laughs> 
<laughs> I had to tell my class, I'm sorry, I was mistaken. <laughs> sabi ko, akala ko, masasabi kong truly, truly, we are a safe space. No, hindi pa pala. Hindi pa pala. So, yun, tama yung sinabi nyo, eh. nag, nag, nagsipag-reflect tayong lahat. No? Sa anong nangyari? Ano ang, may kasalanan ba tayo? May pagkukulang ba tayo? Mm-hmm. May nagawa ba tayo o hindi nagawa? At meron tayong ganitong Dapat issue. Yeah. Dito pa man din sa loob ng campus, ipinagmamalaki eh, nating safest space no? for all genders. Anyway, my question is, anong tawag dito? Can we put a name to it? It sounds to me like more than just sexual harassment. Parang, parang bago kasi siya eh. So meron ba tong pangalan? <laughs> Wala? Mayroon siyang pangalanan kasi Oo. private conversation siya eh. So, hindi siya online bullying even. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kasi hindi naman talaga ina-address sa, sa particular na tao na talaga uh-huh. ina-atake mo eh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pinag-uusapan mo in the third person eh. Sina, okay. Sina. So, but even if this is supposedly private, uh-huh. which became public, no? because nga may risk talaga na anything you put online, kahit nasabihin mong uh-huh. private, at kahit private yung channel niyo yung chat channel niyo may risk pa ding magiging public mm-hmm. yan eh, no? so i think we really need to to problematize this already no in, it, it, it's basically the reproduction of, of misogynist oh, yeah. values and norms okay there you go and the first oh, oh. risk will be among themselves ireproduce nila yan oh, oh. they reinforce each other pwede oh, oh. yan pwede oh, oh. kang magbastos pwede ka mm-hmm. ninormalize it eh nila oh, oh. normalize nila among their community mm-hmm. among community ng mga fraternity oh, oh. so i thinking na ito is a private conversation but the fact is uh, Marami sila dun sa chat sa group dami, na yun. Oh, so, uh, uh, social media nila pinadaan yung chat nila. Uh-huh, Hindi naman uh-huh. ito as if na uh, nag-meeting tayo, uh-huh. nag-inuman tayo, dun tayo nag-usap. So, it's already beyond yung uh, privacy marahil at na pumasok okay. na tayo sa na may social dimension itong uh, platform uh-huh. of choice para sa kanilang conversation. Okay. Can, can we isolate these acts to the social media or can we Corollarily, can we ask the question, uh, is social media contributory to this incident that has caused so much outrage, even in social media itself? Ito ba'y particular sa social media lang? Uh, hindi naman, kasi uh, kung ito ay manifestation na kanilang private uh, conversation, mm-hmm. ibig sabihin ay ganun sila, ganun sila. Ganun sila. <laughs> uh, sa labas ng uh, social media. Uh-oh. Ang nagawa lang ng social media, yung klase ng brevity na mas Uh-oh. matatapang tayo lahat, Kasi hindi yun. naman tayo harap-harapan. Yun yung anonymity, mas, mas, no? Oh, anonymity Uh-oh. or we do not get a sense of the facial reactions, the body uh, reaction. Uh-oh. Kaya pag binibitawan nila itong mga statements na ito, no? Uh, at ang, ang hindi natin maring i-blame on social media dito, uh, uh, holy, kasi nga ay okay. na, sila naman ang naglagay ng content uh, okay. uh, sa social media. Okay. In other words, yung social media allows itself to be platforms for conversation, for communication, mm-hmm. pero hindi rin naman, ang, ang kwan nga lang ay naging platform din siya ng isang misogynist kind of conversation. Uh-oh. Ng hate speech. Ng hate speech Uh-oh. na tinatawag. At parang dito, nandito talaga yung hate speech kasi hindi lang naman, although ang bulto ng conversation ay ang misogynism or uh, mahirap siyang hanapan ng katumba sa Filipino eh, kundi Uh-oh. Uh-oh. diskriminasyon laban sa kababaihan at LGBTQ plus uh, na klase, pero marami din pang iba pang um, sa this day and age na after a hundred years ng uh, existence ng UP or more, yeah. ay bumabalik pa rin tayo sa isang napaka-medieval or uh, feudal outlook of life and out of our Philippine society. Ang pina, pinapadali nung, nung platform yeah. ng social Uh-oh. media, Uh-oh. ang pagkagather ng mga bata, but they don't have to be physically together. Right. Yes. And there can be so many of them. Right. Diba? Uh-oh. So, Uh-oh. In, in that sense, mm-hmm. parang nafa-facilitate niya Uh-oh. yung ganyang ano, conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, if I were to compare life when I was a student here, no? Tagal na okay. yun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fraternity, sa ilalim, okay. sa basement, kunyari ng Uh-oh. KS, sa ah, Tanken yes. Garden. Oh. Mm. At the conversation was very limited. So the reproduction of mga mm. misogynist narratives okay. was already there. The only difference now is the speed mm-hmm. and the, the speed. impact because and sa the, dami. And the volume, no? Oh, and oh. the ease of coming oh, together. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Kasi kami, no, nandito mm. yung mga fraternity, nandito kaming mga sorority, mga Nats. ganyan. Oh, oh. And it's small <laughs> lang. So we, re- oh, we reproduce all of this, ano, narratives, pero mm. talagang limited. Oh, oh. Kayon ang impact, mm-hmm. grabe na. 
Oh, pero ang I think ang isang ang isang uh, punto dito then yung uh, yung lack of accountability kasi nga may anonymity, uh-huh. mm-hmm. 'di ba? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, parang hindi al- hindi naman ako nakikita eh, 'di ba? O hindi naman siguro ma-trace to sa akin eh. Uh, Or I can even use uh, uh, um, an online nickname, no? Or I can hide my identity, no? So, 'yun ang nakaka-worry lang dito. Don't you think? Oh, kasi mas matapang ka eh. Oo, oh, di ba? Doon embolden ka. If you're sending messages in the privacy of your room, for instance, oh, 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 di ba? Then oh, oh. you feel that nobody's seeing you. Walang, yes. Parang walang physical raw, evidence. Raw, talagang oh, raw ang oh, ano. Oh, oh, oh. Raw is Saka right. isa pang epekto ng, um, ng um, social media ay yung, yung may consensus kung ano yung direction ng conversation. It, it snowballs. Mm, mm, okay. So pag nasimulan na yan at nag-take oh, on na naging atas yung trajectory, gatungan na ito ang mm. um, sumigat. Ang, oh, oh. Ang nangyari nga ngayon ay eh, napaso sila. Right. Mm. Napaso sila ng sarili nilang mga okay. uh, pinagsasasabi. Okay. I understand there's an ongoing investigation sa, sa ating uh, universidad. Anybody has an update on this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, pero so, meron, ano? Meron I, I would presume, yes. yes. Oh, oh. Ang so, processes naman natin is really ano, mm-hmm. uh, working. Oh, okay. okay. Talagang sinusubukan naman talagang ano. Uh, at tingnan kung ano talaga ang nangyari, oh, sino oh, ang oh. mga involved. Kasi oh, marami pang kaugat na ano to, oh, oh. na incident. Mm-hmm. At saka marami nag-aabang kung anong magiging bunga nitong investigasyon na ginagawa. Yeah. So, oh, oh. Meron, meron kaming technical working group. Ah, okay. Na uh, oh, oh. bunga ng, ng insidente na yan, okay. yung Don Cedix. Okay. Ang technical working group na to ay para... Um, mag-conduct ng gender sensitivity training. Okay, okay. Na, na system-wide. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, ito ay tugon dun sa o oh, kaugnay oh, ng investigasyon. Oh, kasi na, nakita na parang teka muna, parang kulang yata. Oo. Oh, oh. Sa kaalaman ng sa sensitivity oh, 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 oh. and awareness itong oh, mga batang ito. Oh, oh. At this is just a sample. Di natin alam kung gaano ka-extensive ito. Oh, oh. Sa kaya may initiative po na pinung, pinungunahan po ng UT Padayon. Okay. Sa report ng London sa University oh. Council na hinggil sa investigation, sinabi na sa kaso ng kidnapping, ay wala daw nagka-come forward mm-hmm. to file an, an incident report oh, oh, oh. na has to be, there has to be na siyang na kidnap or oh, oh, oh. Um, kilala niya na, na nandun siya nung kinidnap itong um, supposedly oh, oh. lalaki na to oh, oh. at tinorture. Si, si Isko speaks. Oh, oh, oh. Pag, uh, so walang, 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 ma- walang movement dun sa kaso na yun. Walang witness din. Ano? Wala rin witness, witness who came forward. Oh. Walang complainant. Sa, wala rin complainant. Uh, kaso oh. naman na ito ay sa Lone Silix na ito mm-hmm. ay nasa preliminary investigation na fo- part na rin ng formal investigation which means uh, uh, pinapatawag lahat ng para mga parties para uh, para mapag-usapan kung paano ma-proceed sa direction ng investigation para lang sa ating mga tagapanood uh, yung nabanggit ni Rola na uh, uh, alleged kidnapping no ay na, 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 naging issue dito na ugnay dito sa insidente ito no kaya lang hindi nag-prosper Oh. yung uh, investigation dito dahil walang uh, nag-file ng formal complaint no pero at some point naging maingay oh. itong issue na to no anyway Natsi here who is the director of the UP Center for Women and Gender Studies issued a statement do you want to talk about it Natsi oh yes well we had to issue a statement of course uh-huh. it, it, i think it was also um, very emotional uh-huh. it, can i read it yes Kasi please it, please it will, uh-huh. ano, it, it's better than Okay, so this is the UP Center for Women's and Gender study statement on the leaked contents of a group chat okay. circulating online. Honor and excellence are imperatives that compel and prevent certain actions. These actions extend to private communication, a barometer of how well we have internalized what the university espouses. The leaked contents of a group chat allegedly participated in by student members of a UP fraternity are most alarming. Mm-hmm. The UPCWGS denounces the hegemonic masculinity that these exchanges typify. We remind all members of the community that the University of the Philippines has a very strong stand against misogyny and sexism. The UP gender guidelines emphasize our commitment to advance and uphold gender equality. So we called on all the leaders of fraternities, sororities, and student organizations to ensure that its members are made aware of and adhere to the humane values that the university champions. We enjoin you to hold to account members who have acted in violation of these values. 
We ask all other members of the UP community to interrogate and immediately address the ways by which we may be contributing to the breeding and perpetuation of gender and social injustice inside and outside our university. Lastly, patriarchal attitudes and behavior that manifest themselves in slurs and overt acts not only against women, but also members of the LGBTQI community, indigenous peoples, and other marginalized sectors are deplorable and unacceptable wherever they occur, more so in the national university. So that was, that was our, mm -hmm. our, our immediate statement after we learned about yeah. that. Uh, w w were you able to get any reactions? May mga nagpadala ba ng reaction? Sa inyong statement? Uh, no, they were saying, bakit hindi pinangalanan? <laughs> that was the violent reaction. Oh, 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 oh. But at the time that the statement was released, it, oh, it was yeah, yeah. just yeah. alleged. Oh, 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 oh. And then uh, I think we should also mention that there were also other statements issued by, by other groups. Other organizations, no? By several groups yes. uh, on campus, uh, by organizations, Mas, other student organizations, no? ng iba't ibang uh, kolehiyo. So the outrage also was reflective of the reality that it's not the norm. Normal. Yes. Kasi even on social media, yung oh, kabatan, kasi oh, nagalit din oh, eh. Oo, oh, 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 marami talaga. Oh, oh, yung people to, the oh, same oh, age. Oh, 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 oh. So th that, that's the positive thing oh, that came out of this. No? Anyway, in, in one of our episodes, natatandaan nyo, two episodes ago, we discussed uh, masculinities. Can we explain this incident in terms of masculinities? Uh, make connection ba? Can we make also a connection with fraternity culture? Si Ronan muna ang tatanong. Uh -oh. Meron naman kasi uh, alam naman natin kahit bawal ay ginagawa sa fraternity culture, namely hazing. Yes. Yung, um, a, a kind of ritual na uh, hardened by violence mm -hmm. uh, for you to be able to become a member of yeah. this uh, organization, di ba? Uh, at uh, ito yung kwan eh, yung double standard na bawal, pero alam natin mat pala ginagawa, ginagawa pa rin. Kasi up to now, ay may mga incidences pa rin ng uh, abuse, uh, even um, murders uh, oh, or killings yes. mm -hmm. resulting from hazing. No? At, uh, at dahil homosocial ang environment ng fraternity yeah. at male uh, sociality ang matingkad dito, it's really an affirmation of the worst in machismo, worse in um, misogynism na uh, nagiging part, nagiging daluyan para mag-proceed ang isang neophyte into becoming a full-pledged member of this uh, fraternity mm -hmm. or uh, yung connectivity ng ang alumni ay present sa mga rituals na ito. Uh, so yung genealogy ng patriarchy at uh, ina-assure dito sa ritual ng uh, fraternity culture na ito. Pwede natin tignan halimbawa yung pelikula ni Mike Diller na Batch ah, yes. 81. Oh, 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 oh. As a kind of um, uh, rejuvenation nga ng uh, machismo at ng belonging niya sa mga kalalakihan, primarily through violence and through uh, misogynism, through mental and verbal abuse na ina-undergo nila. At uh, naging insight ito ng further violence kasi yung susunod ay mas abusive oh, ang, oh. Kanina, ang kanila oh, oh. magiging paraan ng uh, violence sa, oh, oh. Sa, sa susunod pang mga neophytes. Okay. So... Any reaction? Tsaka, yeah. yung, yung, yung uh, violence eh hindi lang within the fraternity. Right. Yung mga fraternities, uh, sila sila mismo eh, nagbabangay, oh. di ba? Nag uh, you would know, uh, Betsy, oh. Danny Coy, dating <laughs> Vice Chancellor for First Student oh, Affairs. Oh, totoo well, yan. Ano mga karanasan mo dito sa mga fraternity? Ay, nako. Eh, ako ay nakaranas na ng alas 10 na ng gabi, eh, kailangan ko pang lumabas ng banyo at ng bahay. Dahil merong nag may nagbugboga, no? may nagramble. When I was the director of the Center for Women's Studies, we would receive requests from, from these fraternities uh -oh. for gender sensitivity mm -hmm. training. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I want to believe that there was a time na may effort din sila to change uh -oh. the notions mm -hmm. of masculinity. Siguro mm -hmm. what we need to do now is to reach out to these organizations yeah. again, uh -oh. Nazi uh -oh. and some other, uh -oh. para uh -oh. ibalik itong, ano na ito, itong mm -hmm. project na ito. I'm sure among the members then, there are those who would like to transform their their um, toxic notions of masculinity. Uh -oh. Totoo yan kasi may mga fra may nagka-falling out din naman sa frat na ito uh -oh. dahil na, 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 na parisign ang president ng uh, yes. student council na frat yes. member mm -hmm. uh, na maraming nag-indict na uh -oh. um, um, members din nila sa klase uh -oh. ng conversation na naganap yes. dito sa 
Maraming nagalit din. Hindi talaga natin pwedeng lahat. Oo, i-generalize. All of the fraternity members adhere to toxic masculinity. Oo, oo, oo. So, um, at saka totoo yung sinabi ni, ni Carol, no? Kasi nga, ma, nagkaroon ako ng maraming pakikay, uh, pag-usap, no? Sa mga iba't ibang fraternity nung ako ay naging Vice Chancellor for Student oh. Affairs. Uh, minsan, ang problema nasa alumni. Mm -hmm. No? Kasi, ah, na, na, okay. kasi na, nag-calcify na yung mga, yung practices. culture nila, yung practices nila, no? So, nila. ina expect <laughs> nila na ito ay uh, ipe-perpetuate mm -hmm. oh, oh, ng mga bata, oh, oh, no? Yes. Pero makikita mo rin, within the alum, the, uh, among the alumni ranks, lalo na pag nakialam na ang mga asawang babae, yes, no? Yes. Nagkakaroon din naman ng ng uh, impetus for change, no? So, hindi rin siya flat. I'm not, flat. Napaka no ones din ng yes. mga relations na to. Kaya lang, what is obvious now is hindi pa siya nagpapalitan to the point na matatanggal yung, yung ganitong kultura, no? Ng violence. And violence uh, manifests not only in physical violence, but in in talk like this. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Yung ganitong klase ng uh, pakikipag-usap. So, um, Mayroon ba tayong dapat matutunang leksyon sa nangyaring ito? Uh, outside of UP, what really bothers me daw is, is uh, leadership, yung masyadong popular yung pambabastos, misogynist language, okay. at nire-reproduce ng mga political leaders natin. So, kala okay. nila, uh, tama na, kasi no less than the national leaders are able to uh, mouth out all of this uh, babastos na mga language. Okay. So, siguro ibalik natin talaga yung advocacy natin na tanggalin lahat sa lingwahe, sa kultura, itong masasamang pananalita na ito at ugaling ganito. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, Carol, ang, ang tingin mo na ngayon, eh, itong kulturang to ay hindi lang sa loob ng mm. mga organisasyong gaya ng fraternity, kundi tagus na sa lahat ng halos well, lahat ng Well, theoretically espasyo. we call it fundamentalism, no? The rise uh -huh. of fundamentalism, mm -hmm. bumabalik yung mga traditional kasi nagiging social capital eh ngayon. Uh -huh. Oo nga. Pero tayo dahil UP tayo, I think we should be uh, in the forefront of denouncing all of this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So so ano nga yung yung pinaka importanteng leksyon na dapat nating makita dito kasi parang nagulantang tayo eh nung nung nangyari ito, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Parang meron tayong bubble na na pierce, di ba? So ano, how do we now uh, what lesson can we draw from this? Ako parang ang lesson na, na ang gusto kong ma-draw dito is um, kailangan tayong mag-remain ever vigilant sa yes. advocacy vigilant. natin for gender and sexual equality uh -huh. for everyone. Uh, dahil mismo sa ranks natin na may mga na nagfa-falter na elements or uh -huh. organizations and uh, we must be vigilant na uh, more than ever, at lalo na yung binabanggit ni Carol, yung national leadership din natin, may misogynist, uh, el, um, misogynist nature din of governance ngayon. Kailan tayo maging, uh, maging a safe haven for mm -hmm. na hindi dapat na papasok ng ganitong klaseng discrimination at uh, um, uh, dominating acts ang, mm -hmm. ang ating mga estudyante o ang ating mga magiging alumni. Mm -hmm. So, uh, palagi ko dapat mas maging mapagbantay tayo at uh, dapat talaga palaganapin ito through uh, G program o uh, required G ulit <laughs> para sa... Required! Ito na nga hindi required at uh, may center tayo na nag-advocacy <clears throat> para dito. Kulang pa pala. Kulang. So, kailangan itong patagusin talaga dahil... Oh. dahil cornerstone ito ng pagiging tao natin ang kaya natin maging uh, vigilant at tolerant para mm -hmm. sa uh, kapantayan ng lahat at hindi pwedeng may mga ganitong elemento na sisira nitong mm -hmm. uh, nilalayo natin para sa UP or para sa bayan natin. Okay, so become more vigilant. Para sa akin, highlight yung kahalagahan ng center. Okay. Okay, at yung advokasya ng center oh, 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 oh. na i-mainstream ang gender. Kasi oh, meron oh. na naman tayong mga policies eh, oh, oh, nga. sa university. Hindi ko mm -hmm. alam kung Pamilyar ang mga tao, meron tayong UP Gender Guidelines on Promoting Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment in the University of the Philippines. Uh -oh. We have our anti-sexual harassment orientation. Uh -oh. Code. May uh -oh. code, code tayo. Uh -oh. Tapos right now, we are trying to craft uh, a policy mm -hmm. of non-discrimination on the basis of SOGI yes. in, in uh -oh. the University uh -oh. of the Philippines. So, uh -oh. 
Kumbaga, meron na namang pagkikilos at meron naman tayo mga achievements. Pero uh-oh. siguro kailangan ng awareness uh-oh. ng lahat ng miyembro ng komunidad. Hindi lang mga estudyante. Kasi minsan nakafocus tayo sa mga students. Pero tayo pero, mismo. Oh, oh, yes. oh, diba? Faculty. Okay. <laughs> Staff. So lahat-lahat po tayo sa universidad ay may, may responsibility. Yes. At meron po din sa ating mga ranggo no, ang mga tao na kailangan din po na Matuto. Ay tunay. At lumapit po sa mga Mm-mm. ating ideal ng gender equality. Hindi Uh-oh. po ba? Gender responsiveness. Uh-oh. So, ma- marami pa po. So, wake up call din siya. Yes. Or, or uh, mahalagang paalala. Uh-oh. Na ito po ay dapat natin pagtulong-tulungan. Mm-hmm. So, yung center, kasama po ng mga gender offices, sana suportahan po Uh-oh. ng universidad at ng iba't ibang mga sektor. Tumawa ka kanina, Carol. Ano ba naisip Alam mo? Alam niya kasi marami kami struggles. Hindi, <laughs> 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 pero I affirm, no, yung word na vigilance, I think that is the key word that we have to bring right. to the public now. Uh-oh. At saka yung pagtulong, no, ng mga, mga units sa UP na talagang naka assigned to do this. At ang last word ko is, itagos natin sa curricular programs pa rin. Uh-huh. So, may talagang makasama sa curriculum, sa tinuturo, sa program services, at saka sa outreach activities natin. At sasabihin ko uli, hindi ba pwedeng ibaba natin ito sa senior high school man lang? Kung, hindi man, kung hindi man sa tagos hanggang baba? Dapat nga preschool eh. Di ba? Oo. Pero uh, ano kayang pwede nating gawin para matulungan niyo? Meron naman guidelines ang Department of Education na ngayon. Mm-mm. Kaya lang depende sa willingness ng school. Oo. Oo. Meron naman, di tayo nagkukulang sa guidelines at saka batas Oo. yung implementation ng problema. Baka kailangan talagang baguhin yung kultura. Oo. Yes. No, so Bottom talaga. line is the culture. Oo. Yeah. And patriarchy. Oo. And beyond, <laughs> oo, oo, oo. Buhay pa kaya ako pag nawala yun. <laughs> <laughs> May pagbabago naman kasi ako natutuwa dito sa campaign halimbawa sa Quezon City na oh, yes. uh, yung ogling na ginagawa ng oh. lalaki sa nakapilang babae mm-hmm. ay considered okay. na rin sexual harassment. Mm-hmm. So, ibig sabihin, uh, okay, dati fun. hindi mo may isip na i-condemn yun. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, pero ngayon, dahil malinaw na may batas at may mm-hmm. mga litong at may... Uh, campaign, sana lang ituloy-tuloy para nga iba't ibang aspekto ng uh, misogynism at uh, sexual harassment mawala na sa ating karanasan. Mm-hmm. Uh, dahil wala pa tayo ng GE na inaasam natin, mm-hmm. ano? <laughs> paano natin ito maiintegrate sa mga klase natin? Dapat. dapat paano nga? Pa- pakiusapan lahat ng mga disciplines, lahat ng subjects, Pero isang kailangan... section oh, on sige. gender. Pero kailangan oh. yung mga teachers ay may awareness. Yun. Oh, sa gender issues. Kasi oh, hindi oh. naman natin madidikta kung oh, paano oh. nila magagamit ang oh, kaalaman na yun. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. diba? So, dapat sana ang mga ating professors ay maging interesado sa mga usaping gender. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Kakagaya ng pakikinig po sa ganitong programa. Kasi nasa sensitize kayo. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Diba? Sa mga realidad. Oh, ang kababaihan. Oh. Tapos kayo na, sa inyong mga paraan, kung paano ninyo i-integrate yung mga issue na ito. Oh, oh. Sa inyong inyong mga kurso oh, oh. na itinuturo. Disiplina. Eh kung may mga kasama tayo, sa faculty, halimbawa, na kailangang maintindihan yung mga kulis. Diba? Parang alam ni Nero, alam mo ba? Eh ano kayang pwede nating gawin? I think uh, uh, ako na niniwala talaga na dapat i-call natin yung attention niya. Yan. At kung Uh-oh. hindi niya tanggapin to, ay gumawa tayo ng incident report na ay yeah. empower yung staff natin na mag-file ng incident report mm-hmm. na kung saan sila ay naharas mm-hmm. ng mga supervisors nila Uh-oh. or ng um, uh, lateral na klase ng colleagues nila. Uh-oh. Para lang... Um, sa dosyer ng mga empleyado na yun, dumami ng dumami at ng colleagues natin, dumami ng dumami hanggang darating yung point na pwede mo na talagang i-call yung attention oh, niya na uh-oh. labis na itong ginagawa mo uh-oh. at uh, hindi na ito tiwa at uh, taliwas na ito sa alitong-tunin ng pamantasan natin uh-oh. at pag hindi ka nagbago, uh-uh. kakasuhan ka na talaga dito. Uh-oh. So ako talaga kailangan i-empower din natin yung mga estudyante, uh-huh. kawani, at mga faculty uh-oh. natin na pag mga ganitong disturbing incidences na nare-render in public, na Uh-oh. naririnig nila sa klase, mm-hmm. mag-file tayo ng incident report mm-hmm. at hindi man ito ma-resolve ng isa. Uh-oh. Pero kapag may serya na ng incident report na may kahalintulad na Uh-oh. hate crimes o hate speech mm-hmm. ng uh, sinisiwala, then Uh-oh. pwede na mabago at magkaso na sa mga naturang mga tao na to. 
Oo, okay. ang, ang isang ang isang issue siguro is eh, kasi may mga lumapit sa akin no, mga estudyante no, natatakot sila dahil baka raw magkaroon ng uh, epekto sa grades nila mm. o ibagsak sila or what no. Meron tayong online evaluation tapos you may not put your name. Merong mga gender questions doon na binibigay natin sa estudyante online. Pero na, ang napansin daw over the nung sinimula natin yung programa yun, maraming nagfi-feedback. Uh -huh. Pero hindi daw alam ng faculty, kaya daw hindi sinasabi sa faculty na encourage the students to to report. Siguro okay. si Natsi can do something about that. Oh, baka kailangan dagdagan online yung set natin. Oo, oh, oh, yung sa oh, set oh. online oh, evaluation. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, but meron namang ano doon. Um, portion where you can just write anything. Anything. Yeah. No, oh. pero very specific sana sa gender so, sensitivity. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Tolerance oh. for oh. other kinds of beliefs. Oh. Oh. At siguro hindi lang sa gender, napag-usapan rin lang natin one episode ago yung intersectionality, mm -hmm. no? Oh, oh. No, yung, oh. yung sensitive uh, yes. speech Pwede talaga. Pwede natin palakasin yun. Oo, oh, oh, na, oo. Oh, oh. Kasi, uh, yung mga bata, na at least yung mga nakausap ko, takot silang mag-file mag, uh, ng complaint o maski mm -hmm. incident report lang kasi natatakot sila sa pwedeng maging epekto sa kanila. Grades, so, oo, no. oh, oh, sa grades or whatever, no? Oh, uh, pwede sila ibagsak or what. At saka ito, I think ang isang naha-highlight dito is yung yung matingkad na power relations mm -hmm. between faculty and yeah. students, students. di ba? And sometimes, nai-implicate yung gender relations dito. Di ba? So, so we, we have problems. Still, yeah. no? Yes. Di ba? Yes. Yes. Kahit na, ka, ang yabang-yabang ko nung una na <laughs> pinaka-safe space itong UP, pero <laughs> the reality is, we still have yeah. problems. Yes. Diba? Like all universities. Well, like all universities, yeah. that is true. No? At uh, actually, I think ang isa lang na maganda sa atin, eh, hindi tayo nangingiming ilantad ito. Proactive naman ang university. Ilantad ito dahil kailangang harapin. Yes. No? Okay, so I think we're running out of time. So yes. last words from everybody. We start with you, Carol. Let's be vigilant and let's try to address all misogynist issues in our university and in the larger society. Okay. Pagtulungan po natin ang isang UP na gender responsive. Hindi po magagawa ng isang unit lamang yun. Ito po ay dapat pinagtutulungan ng iba't ibang sektor at unit ng buong universidad. In hindsight, maaari pala natin nagamit itong incident na ito sa lakas ng um, uh, opinion ng mga tao laban mm -hmm. sa misogynism na uh, right pala yung opportunity na yun para uh, nag-call tayo for a GE, a required GE Oo program nga. on uh, hindi gender pa huli. sexuality. So, mm -hmm. hindi naman uh, umahasa ako na meron pang kasunod ito. May sequel pa itong non uh, na ito. Pero sana, <laughs> sana ay, na. <laughs> kapag uh, nagkaroon ng ganitong oportunidad, ay magkaisang hanay tayo uh -huh. na uh, gumawa tayo ng paninindigan na high time na uh -huh. i-require ang gender and sexuality as a G-post. Kami ni Michael Tanang gumawa okay. ng curriculum. Okay. Well, maraming salamat sa ating uh, panel. Thank you, Dr. Carol Sobrichea, Dr. Natsi Verseles, Dr. Roland Tolentino. Sana po ay naibigan ninyo ang aming uh, naging balitaktakan dito. Ako po si Betsy Enriquez.